Catholic, so my dad, he was practicing his faith um, when he was a kid, but he kind of lost that growing up, so faith was a really big thing in my life, but I received the sacraments growing up. I, when I was little, I got a learning difficulty, so um, I couldn't speak till I was five years old, so I got a lot of frustration. And um, when I got to school, I used to go to special learning classes, so it used to pull me out of class all the time. And, you know, I just wanted to be around people and stuff, but like, yeah, I just always got pulled aside. So um, primary school was a difficult time for me. I just wanted to fit in, but I just got bullied quite a bit. So when I was in high school, I determined to just be popular. So I kind of went to the way where people wanted to change me and stuff. So I went into bullying people because that's how I received getting bullied. And, um, you know, I just wanted to fit in in life. And I heard about Jesus at school, but, you know, that wasn't a really big thing for me, for me in my life. So, um, so like just growing up and stuff, it was just never a big thing, but I always felt like there was something really missing in my heart. Until one day, I was in U12, and I got asked to, um, we went on a U12 retreat, and I was like, oh, I don't want to go on this U12 retreat, but I had to go anyway. And I met these young people, and they were really awesome and stuff. Well, I didn't think of that at the time, but like, they were really joyful and stuff, and they just wanted to get to know who I was, and I got to know them, and by the end of the day, they invited me to a youth group. And, um, this youth group, I didn't really want to be there. I was, um, you know, I just went for the cute boys and stuff, but like, it was um, really challenging me. And uh, they asked me like, hey Jess, do you go to church and stuff? And I said, not really. And then they said, can you say this prayer? Jesus, if, if you're real, you can show me. And I didn't say that prayer. And then they invited me to a summer school. Um, when I went for a week long retreat and I didn't want to be there. Um, I went in with a really, really negative attitude, but everyone was so joyful and happy. And I asked why did, why were these people so happy and joyful? And they said, they had Jesus in their life. And I was like, okay. So by the middle of the week, I heard a priest saying like, Jesus loves you. And I was like, how can Jesus love me when I've done all these things, bad things have happened in my life. And he, the priest said to me, Jazz, you just need to open your heart towards it. So I went to this thing called prayer teams. Um, I had two sisters pray with me. They asked, Jazz, what would you like to be prayed for? And I asked to pray for faith and have a relationship with Jesus and have something real in him. So they were praying over me and I just felt like a bucket of water just pour over me. And um, I wasn't sure what, how I felt, but I felt love and peace for the first time in my life. So after this experience, I went to the chapel and I said, Jesus, I want you in my life. I don't know what you're gonna do with me. And I made that prayer two, two years ago and it's been one of the best but challenging um, experiences in my life. I get to serve with Net Ministries this year. I'm on the national team. I get to travel all around Australia. I get to spread the good news to Jesus. I never thought that growing up that I would spread good news to Jesus, but it's been such a challenge and honor and I love every minute of it and yeah.